this EASHL club matchup after the challenge was thrown down. Opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Pools got it against the boards. And that's poked away. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Here's a chance. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Pools hit not you possibly in the eyes of the officials. And charging is the call. Regina's man advantage winner will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Houston's got a hold of it along the wall. And the puck leads the zone. Takes the puck. The Pats take possession in the defensive end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Denied to the slapper. The Warriors get a hold of the puck along the boards. And they send it down the ice. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Houston's penalty is now expired. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Pats have taken a 1-0 lead. Puck exits the zone. Regina's looking to break out. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. What a great read, breaking up the pass. Sends it in on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Blunt. Skates in behind the cage. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Too many bodies in the way. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. China's been very impressive to watch in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in the first. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. That's a stick. And that one's turned away. 
Gains the zone through center. Goes into the middle. And that chance is blocked. From the point, looks to make something happen. They've got an odd man rush here. And that rush is broken up. Oh, is nice and tight to the net. You gotta find a way to convert on it, but you have to be aware of where the goaltender is. You don't have much time, you have to have quick hands, but you have to find the back of the net when there's not much room. Houston's won it. Receives the pass. Uses the force on that hit. Quick pass to Mason. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Here's a feed in front. And he opts to backtrack here on the play. Here comes the sentence. Blunt's getting killed for tripping. Houston sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. From against the wall into the open ice. Sets a pass in front. And that's stopped. Houston's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's the pass. And he couldn't handle the pass as he was knocked off target. Oh, look at this. They are really starting to apply the pressure now. stoppage in play. Face off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Looks to set up at the point now. Turns him away. And a successful clearing attempt. Passes it over to Poole. the end of period number one. We'll take a breather. I'll recharge. The players will too. And we're coming back with period number two right after this.
play, James. It's all about puck possession and retrieval. They did all... Break away! And it's broken up! Well, he thought he had a lot of time there, but the defender makes a great play, works hard to get back to position, and takes away the shot. Regina's offense has come to play in a big way as they've dominated both the shots and goal category. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Royals gain possession. Regina's got the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here's a short pass to Chu. Great reach with the poke check by Poole. Takes the feed. Slides the puck down low. From behind the net. Along the half wall with the puck. Slittering feed. What a chance, but they can't connect. Sends the pass down low. Quick pass to Chu. Regina's got it from behind the net. There's the whistle. We get a face off after the goalie covers up. Regina's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Houston's won the defensive zone draw. Big time hit check there. That's how you finish a play. And that's a smart heads up play by Blunt. Big time hit. Oh, he stepped up there. Well, finally, someone does something, James. It's like they've been standing around watching the game in quicksand. Finally, someone does something. He sends a clear message. Hey, I'm coming at you. generating more chances. They haven't had many shots on net, and they have to find a way to attack the net if they want to get back in this game. Takes it and looks ahead. Stopped by the goaltender. Amante's had a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. But man, does he make a nice save there, and that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared, even though he hasn't been busy. Houston's got it in the offensive zone. Amante's gonna hang on for a whistle. Regina's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Made the save on the play. Houston's got the puck in the corner. Pass back to the point. And he takes the dish. Chance in front! What a goal! Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. Well, past the midway mark of this period. Houston's got to find a way to get a few more goals here as they still trail by a pair. Puck picked up in the open ice. And here at center, that's intercepted. Houston's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves around along the half wall. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Here's a pass down low. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Gretzky. And they keep the pressure on. Regina's got the puck. 
Quick feed down low. Gretzky's the true sniper, James, and he's already got two in the game, and you know he's looking for his third. Quick pass over to Mason. Tries to get it to Blunt. Picked up along the boards by Gretzky. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Houston's got the puck. The Royals have it behind the net. Off a stick and they can't connect. And he takes the pass. Here's a rip. And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Takes it into the slot. And some smart heads up defensive play by Cronwall. Edmonds carries the puck in his own zone. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Just here in the late stages of this frame, it's 4-2. Pools, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Fires it! Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Man, is he ever known for this. When he drops into that butterfly positioning, he makes himself as big as possible. So tough to beat because there is no net available. Moves the puck down low. Great reach with the poke check. From the point! Oh, he stops that one! That was served up with a whole lot of spice! And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Vagina's leading in this high-scoring, high-flying game, but I gotta tell you, the goaltenders on both sides, they must absolutely hate it. It's a 200-foot game of odd man rushes and back-and-forth play. The Pats going to work on offense. Takes the pass. Houston's got the puck against the boards. Feeds it down low. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it to Gretzky. Quick shot. They'll need more than that to beat him. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. There's the whistle, we got an offside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Regina's doubled up on them, it's now 4-2. And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. And he takes the feed. Shot! Stop with ease! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Gretzky. Regina has got the puck against the wall. Chu's got it behind the net. Blunt's got control of the puck in the corner. Oh, and a great hits up play to force the turnover by Gretzky. Tripped up on the play, delay penalty coming up. Takes the feed. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra.
an attacker out. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Blunt's going to the box for tripping. The power play unit goes right back to work. So many teams on a power play, they shrink the zone. Sometimes you have to spread it out, try and get that coverage to move with you. They go low to high quick, they're going to open up that point shot. Handles the puck at the point. Quick feed to Poole. And he comes up with it. Taken along the wall by Mason. Quick pass to Poole. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. We're getting Bob and Weave trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Cronwall's a big part of this team's offense, guys. They're trailing at the moment, and you know he'll be looking to use his zone ability to get things going. Turned up on a side. Takes a shot. Oh, they do it again. Edmonds kicks us on that blue line. The pass will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty. The Royals move the puck in the defensive zone. Ten seconds left. Well, standing up, ready to go. And the man advantage fails to pay off as both teams are back at even strength. Well, when you get the nod to hit, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time, and all these players are heading back to the bench, and they're deflated. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Regina's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. And that's blocked. Slides it quickly, picking up a head of steam on the breakaway. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. The Pats get some emotion from the bench as they look to extend their lead and hit the post now. Everyone thought it might have gone in, and then they realized it didn't. Swing feed, and it's blocked. Feeds it to Chu. The Pats carry it along the wall. Blunt's exploring options with the puck. And he lowers the boom there. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. More than half the frame has been played here. We've got ourselves a 4-2 hockey game. Pools gain possession, and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Taken by Gretzky from the neutral zone now. The Royals have it against the wall. Oh, and he throws a perfectly executed hip check there. Takes the feet in the back end. Great save. Oh, the rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one more. Goaltender on that one picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Regina's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so. And you always look forward to a day off. And this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Here in the later stages of this period, the Pats just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Here's an offensive chance. Regina's got it behind the net. Here's a chance. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he coughs it up with the pass. Can't connect good use of the body on that play. Blunt's got it in the offensive zone. Nothing. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Takes the shot. Regina's got control of it now from their own end. Drills him. And that's off target as it hits a body. Edmonds grabs the puck inside his own territory. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Moves it to Poole. The Royals play the boards. Locks 
awesome. She's got it across the line.